Adding infinite scroll to a Django website becomes a quick and easy task if you use HTMX. That's exactly what we'll be doing in this video. So this video could function as a standalone video and help you figure out how to set up infinite scroll in your Django project. However, it is part of a Django and HTMX learning series. If you want to code along, you'll find a link to the GitHub repo with the code from where we left off in the description. Either way, let me show you what we're working with. So we have already created our landing page where users can browse movies by category or search for a particular movie. The source of our movies is the movie database API. We've also added HTMX to our project and used it to incorporate dynamic content loading so that when a user selects a category or searches for a movie, only the movie results get reloaded and not the entire page. So right now we're fetching 20 movies at a time from the movie database. Now what we want to do is make it so that when our user scrolls to the bottom of the page, we fetch more movies until all the movies belonging to our query end. And there are so many, so it really does feel infinite. So how can we do that? So first of all, we want to add page to our query. Let's go back to views.py. Those are the URLs we're using to make requests. So I'm going to add page and set it to a page variable that we're yet to create. So we'll be creating a page variable in a second. I'll do the same for all the other URLs because we have two URLs. One we're using to fetch all movies belonging to a category and the other we're using to fetch movies based on a search query. So now let's define the page variable. We said that we want to make it so that when the user scrolls all the way down, we make a request to fetch the next page. So let's set our page variable to request.get.get page and let's set the default to one. And we will want to calculate the next page, page, plus one. Let's turn page into an integer so that we're sure that this operation is possible. And now we would want to pass next page to our template. Okay, I'll do the same over here. Let's go to our movie list partial. We said that we will be implementing infinite scroll with HTMX and it's going to be very, very easy thanks to HX trigger. You can set it up to have it send an AJAX request when an element becomes visible in the viewport, as we'll see. Let's create a div element and let's give it the ID scroll trigger, for example. And we want our scroll trigger to make a get request to our landing page with all the information needed to fetch the movies. So we're going to be passing category and we'll set it to category. We also want to pass in search. So this also works with search queries. So let's set it to search query. And of course we want to pass in page, but we'll set page to next page. So we want the request to be triggered when our div comes into viewport. Viewport is the region of the screen used to display a portion of the total image to be shown. See if we can find our uh, div when we scroll down. Okay, so here it is. But just to make sure it comes into viewport, I am going to add margin bottom to its parent, just in case, just to make sure that everything happens smoothly. Yeah, so there's space here. 
which means our div will surely come to view now. Before I had doubts. <laughs> okay, so let's add hx trigger. And like we said, we want to trigger it when this div comes into viewport. And to do this, we need to use revealed. So we'll set hx trigger to revealed. When our div is revealed, we want to add the new movies after the last movie. To do this, we can use hx swap because while hx swap can help us swap elements, it also can be used to append elements. And before end, as it says in the description, inserts the response after the last child of the target element. So um, let's use hx swap and set it to before end. And finally, let's specify our target element. So to do this, we'll use hx target. And our target element is this diff movie container. So I'll copy its ID and add a hash and then paste. Okay, so this should do it. Let's see if that works. So let's go back to our page. Let's hard refresh and let's try scrolling down. Okay, all right seems to be working. Nice. Okay, so let's go back to Visual Studio Code open terminal. And yeah, check it out. It keeps fetching pages as we scroll. Just fetched another one. Now we're at page 11. Now let's scroll some more. Page 12. Yay. I am curious to see if the scroll mechanism also works with searches. So let's search for something we know would have a lot of results. Like for example, Marvel. All right. So I'm scrolling down. Okay. It seems like when we scrolled all the way down, a get request was made and we're at page two. So it looks like it's working. Okay, so Marvel does seem to have a lot of results. Uh, let's try something that doesn't have a lot of results. By the way, it seems some movies don't have images, so we should add a fallback image in case an image is not available. We'll do that soon. Let's search for, for example, um, Spirited Away. probably doesn't have a lot of results. Okay. Looks like there are five movies. Let's scroll all the way down. Oh, oh, you see that it keeps making requests nonstop because of our scroll trigger. So as soon as I scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, you see what's going on? Nonstop requests. That's terrible. We need to fix that immediately. <laughs> And I have a guess that if we make a search that doesn't have any results, we'll make endless requests for no reason also. So I was just gonna write a search query that probably will return us nothing. And let's keep our eye on terminal, see what happens. Oh no, nonstop requests. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, so we need to implement a fix for this because this is <laughs> unacceptable. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to know if there is a next page before we decide to make another request, right? So let's create variable has next and we want to set this to page less than the number of total pages which means we're going to need the number of total pages the movie database would return. 
luckily we get total pages with our response so all we gotta do is just get it so let's set variable total pages to response dot json dot get and we want to get total pages we want to set the default to one okay and in the accept block let's set has next to false and now let's pass has next to our templates so has next has next all right and now let's go back to our movie list partial we want to check if has next if has next then we want to show our scroll trigger div otherwise we don't want to render it so let's add and if okay now let's see if that fixed our issue righty let's fire up terminal again and now let's refresh and let's search for something with lots of results like Disney okay let's scroll down no actually we want something not with a lot of results sorry let's try mm, potato surprisingly potato has a lot of results okay let's try a search that doesn't exist uh potato whatever random stuff okay it seems that we're no longer making endless requests anymore so it seems it's working looks like we did it let's try spirited away okay no longer making endless requests okay now before i end the video i want to fix the fact uh, that if there is no movie image our chord looks like this let's put a fallback image let's go back to our movie list.html file where the image tag is and we want to check if movie poster path exists because if it does then we want to render uh, the image associated with it but if it doesn't then we want to show a fallback image so if movie.poster path so when there is an if statement in django templates there should always be an end if so let's add it now before we forget let's also add else if there is no movie path then we want to show this image so i'm going to copy image address and then i'm just gonna paste it and now let's go back to our beautiful site and let's search for marvel again oh it shows our fallback image no image available that's cool we did it okay now since we're here let's also add an appropriate alt let's set alt to movie dot title okay we can stop here today i hope you've learned something new and if you did don't forget to like the video and if you haven't subscribed don't subscribe <laughs> subscribe and see you in the next video where we're going to add more features to our website and more pages bye